Welcome to my beginner's guide to creating armor mashups for Skyrim by purely using Nifscope. Before we start, you need to have the following programs installed. Nifscope, GIMP, FOMM, and the Skyrim Creation Kit. Nifscope will be the main program we will be using. All mesh-related activities will be done using it. GIMP will be used for editing the textures, but you can also choose to use Photoshop. FOMM which is also known as Fallout Mod Manager, will be used for unpacking BSA files. The Skyrim Creation Kit will be used to get the meshes into the game. Once you have these programs installed, we shall begin. For this series of tutorials, we will be working towards creating this armor from my Immersive Armor Mod on the Nexus. As you can see, it is a simple mashup between the Iron Armor and the Thieves Guild outfit. Now we will extract the respective armor meshes from the meshes BSA file located in the data folder in your Skyrim installation directory. When extracting the meshes, make sure to extract both the max size and min size meshes, which are denoted with an underscore 1 and 0 respectively. For this tutorial, I will be extracting these files to a folder I have created in the Meshes folder located in the Data folder. Open up the max sized Meshes for the Iron and Thief Armors in Nifscope. Just right click on the file and open with Nifscope. Rename both the NI node to Scene Root. This will allow you to transfer the one mesh to the other. Right click on the mesh, go to block and select copy branch. Now select the root node of the mesh you intend to transfer to and paste it. Notice that a window popped up and pasting of the mesh was unsuccessful. This is because the mesh you intend to transfer the model to is missing a parent node. Referring to the message in the pop-up, copy the respective nine node to the target mesh. Notice that upon pasting the nine node to the target mesh, the name of the node changes. As such, you will have to rename the node accordingly. And depending on the models you are working with, you may have to repeat this step until all the missing nine nodes are transferred to the target mesh. Repeat the same steps for the min-sized variant of the armor. Keep in mind that the sequence of what you transferred over to the target mesh is very important. If the sequence is different, it will affect the model when in game. Once all the missing nine nodes are pasted into the target mesh, we are now able to paste over the mesh. Similar to pasting over a nine node, you need to rename the pasted mesh. In this case, I choose to name it as Pants. Once this is done, save the modified mesh under a different name. Test the file by opening it with the Skyrim Creation Kit. As you can see, the model looks like the two meshes mashed on top of one another. This concludes part one of this tutorial. In the next part of the tutorial, we will be covering textures and alpha properties of the mesh.